The opposition leader Peter Dutton is in northeast Arnhem Land today. Let's bring in Matt Cunningham, who is there as well. Matt, what's he been up to? Well, he's been out at Gunyangara this morning, uh, Ash. That is uh, the uh, local Indigenous community uh, uh, just outside of Nullumboy, where I am at the moment. Now, he visited the Dupama Barker School there. That's a school that was set up uh, last year by the Gumach clan in conjunction with uh, the Barker College uh, from Sydney. And it's had some pretty spectacular results. Peter Dutton was there with Julian Lisa, his spokesman for uh, Indigenous Australians. They were talking to the teachers and the students and the staff uh, at that school. That school had a 100% attendance rate in term four of last year and you compare that to some of the attendance rates we're seeing in other schools around northern Australia. You can see how well that school is doing. I caught up with Murphy Unipingo from the Gumach clan who played a key role in setting up the Dupamabaka school. Here's a bit of what he had to say about the school's success. Students um, numbers have gone up since last year. And now uh, we're struggling to get uh, um, another demand of them to fit them all in. <laughs> The other thing Peter Dutton will be doing while he's here in northeast Arnhem Land will be canvassing the views of people about an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice to Parliament. He's about to meet here in Nullumboy uh, with uh, the Dillark Council. That is uh, a council made up of the 13 clan leaders from northeast Arnhem Land. He's sure to hear a range of different views about the voice to Parliament when he does meet with them uh, in the next 15 minutes or so. Ash, I did ask Murphy Unipingu uh, his thoughts about the voice to Parliament. Here's what he had to say. My view is that they, they actually figure a way to work with the community in what they want to do with the community. Because at the moment, it's a vague vision. Ash, we know that the opposition leader is yet to make a firm commitment either way on an Aboriginal or, and Torres Strait Islander voice to Parliament. He has asked for the government to... to provide uh, more detail about its proposal for a voice ahead of a referendum that's likely to be held in September or October this year. Matt Cunningham, thank you.